Turn out the lights and close your eyes. Be bold. I'm going to take you to places you've only ever dreamed of. Be free. Release your mind. Relinquish control to the mood. Welcome to In the Mood with Nicole Mudaber. It's Nicole Mudaba. Welcome to In the Mood, broadcasting live from London for the first time. I'm so excited to be doing this and uh, having you all here today. Stand by for new music from Mac and Groove, Lex and Wood, and the return of Tall Paul. Plus, later in the show, I wanted to take this time and shine the spotlight on what I consider to be the best and most influential club of all time, trade. to the archives for a special trade classic mini mix and its promoter Lawrence Malice will be joining me on Zoom for a chat. I've also got my favorite astrologer, life coach and spiritual healer logging on for a quick chat. Regular listeners to the show know I often talk about the moon and how it affects us all. So I'm dying to know what Aliza has to say. And maybe she can give us a clue as to when we will be able to party again together. So keep it locked. In the Mood Radio Live. Finally, you can see inside the Mood Studio. Don't think for one second I've been sat here for four months binging on Netflix. Thank you. 
Get in touch throughout the show using hashtag in the mood. Or even better, leave a WhatsApp message on the mood hotline. Plus four four seven four nine five 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 zero eight zero six. I'll pop it on the screen in a minute. Tell me everything.
with us guys this is the first time we do such a thing <laughs> okay Alisa welcome to the show so good to have you here I have a few questions how did you get into this no it was kind of it was random Nicole because I just I found an astrology class astrology was my way in And I found a class in New York City and I just got completely obsessed. I fell in love with it. That wow. Uh, yeah. For my fans that are new to this and might think I've gone crazy, <laughs> <laughs> can you explain how you work? So literally how I work, it's, it's a phone call, isn't it? People call me. People call me and they can ask me, anything they can talk about their love life their work it doesn't matter what it is future lives current life past life and you know they, they find me they find me from word of mouth they find me from social media and it, it's literally a phone call and i don't think they're gonna think you're crazy <laughs> i don't think you're crazy because you're always spot on i mean it's just incredible some people oh. do have that gift for sure And so what we all really want to know is when can we get back together and party again? Because right now, it seems it's a long way off. What do the cards say or the stars say? You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm going to be honest, okay? I actually think it's going to be a couple years before we really feel back to normal. And you know, you know it's going to be different depending on where you are in the world. Did But you say years? Hang on a minute. I think it's going to be a couple years. Like What until we really feel, I know, until we really feel the new normal and that we're, I don't want to say back to where we were, but in a new place, spring, what did I write down? Spring 2023. So it's a couple years. Not that, I want to say, not that everything is shut down completely until then, but there, it's going to roll, you know, like lockdowns here or lockdowns there, things opening here, things opening there, really depending where you are. So I think we are looking at a couple years of it's going to be weird. Are you just saying in the States, because I know it's really bad over there. I mean, yeah. do, you th <laughs> do you see us DJing again early next year in the States? You know what? 
Let me ask my friend. <laughs> let me ask, because it really is going to be different wherever you are. Let me ask, let me see. I'm gonna, let me ask if Nicole's going to be. Yes. No, me and my peers and all my DJ friends okay. and artists. and. So let's, you're asking about 2021 in the States? Early tw 2021 in the States, yes. No. Maybe, think, no. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. I think there's going to be places that's the maybe. <laughs> Let me see here. 2021 in the States. Yeah, I think so. I think there's definitely going to be some places, not everywhere, but there's going to be some some states, some states <laughs> where it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. But Amazing. you know what? We're talking 2021. Yeah. This could be December. You know, this could be December 1st. Girl, it could be okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's good. You're going to have parties in the States, yeah. Amazing. And well. Th it might be outside. It might not be inside. It might be outside. Whatever. Just get us there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this chat, Aliza. I can't wait to have you back again. And... Um, I'll hit you up and see what everyone thinks. And uh, everybody, Aliza Einhorn, Moon Pluto, NYC. Check her out if you can. Thanks, Aliza. Thank you. Ciao, ciao, ciao.
Ibiza is the record that is so good. It makes my hair stand on ends. And as you can see, I got a lot of it. So it's gotta be good. <laughs> so this one is the return of Tall Paul, whose family actually owned the club where trade used to run, the infamous turn mills in London. It's been a long time since we had anything from him. Stay tuned, coming up next. in here it's so much fun thanks for your support
shaving kit. You won't need much. Just a tiny taste. What is this shit? What is this shit? What is this shit?
behind the first ever legal after hours in London 30 years ago called Trade and also a legendary promoter for parties including DTPM and the first ever girls techno club pumping girls and of course Kitty Lips who can ever forget that but Trade was the club that changed my life and influenced me in so many ways and taught me everything. Lawrence has discovered some of the best DJ talent and music genres to this day, continues to innovate, running the egg in London. Quite simply, no one knows to throw a party like this man, and he has a music taste like no one else. Lawrence, mi amor, Thank you. Hi, gorgeous. You're so kind. Thank you for inviting me on your show. You're Honestly. So sweet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. I can hear you. Let's start at the Nicole, beginning. You're too kind. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, thank you for coming on the show. This is a, a very uh, different kind of show, but I wanted to give you and Trade tribute because Trade started 30 years ago and uh, we were supposed to celebrate in October. So let's start right. at the beginning. How did you start out in Clubland? I've been running many one-off parties for a number of years, and I was actually I, I was running an after house in a sauna, and at that time all the clubs were they were just illegal, you know, you after hours. So don't don't forget most clubs finished at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And it is like it, it, with the European culture, most people are just ready to go at that time. So when I approached uh, John Newman, I asked him to apply for a license. And of course, Islington Council were very supportive. I mean, they couldn't quite understand why people would want to go to a club that time in the morning. <laughs> and they also couldn't understand why, yeah, they could, just couldn't understand why they would go to a club without any booze. I mean, for about a year after us came the Ministry of Sound, so. Wow. We, we, broke, we broke the mould. You we did. Mold and, uh, I mean, I grew up yeah. practically in your club. <laughs> you only what? lived around the corner. <laughs> exactly. So, what, what gave you the idea for starting this party and how did you get away with starting at 4 a.m.? Well, well, it was actually uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, but uh, yeah. I just saw, I saw, I saw a, a need, you know, I saw a need for um, parties. I mean, it was a lot of um, parties, um, illegal parties. There was um, an, an orbital rave, so there's many parties, but well, like, it's actually very, it's not dissimilar from what we're going through at the moment, because there's a lot of illegal parties, but people do, you can't stop people partying. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to, I, you know, I was sick and tired of doing parties that, that could be closed down by the police. So, uh, I, as I said, I approached John Newman and asked him to apply uh, for a license and they, they gave it to us. Amazing. So yeah. when you opened, what was the music policy and how did it evolve? But it was always a. I always wanted um, a journey in a journey in music. So my idea was to was to incorporate at that time was like the Belgium New Beat, uh, but basically uh, taking you on a journey. And I mean, you know, the, the Detroit uh, techno was uh, coming through at that time. Yeah. And it's uh, and I and also I just wanted it's literally a journey um, uh, uh, through music. And it starts at one uh, beats per minute and it ends up to a higher beats per minute and then it takes you down again by playing all the classics. Unbelievable. So that was, I mean, for me, I, 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 even today, I find it very strange when you go to a club, you know, you've got all these fabulous DJs that DJ, but generally, they, uh, unless you have a DJ that uh, uh, DJs the whole night, you will find that these DJs, uh, they, uh, they quite often they play the same style of music. Yeah. And the, the, the reason why they're employed, because they're successful pr uh, producers. But it really, it's, I think it's more important to take uh, the customers on, on a journey. 
It's Absolutely. all about getting lost in music. Completely. And we used to do that exactly. For me, I mean, every week was a highlight. Uh, what was some of your best memories? Oh, God, so many. I mean, I've got, to, uh, there's too many. I mean, I, I, I think my, uh, well, my number one best memory was when I, I broke up with my partner in Australia and I was, and I felt really, I felt really stupid, embarrassed coming back to England and feeling so lost and uh, uh, being without uh, the love of my life. And when I walked down those stairs, after because I've been away for about six, seven weeks, and when I walked down the stairs, the whole club just uh, got up and cheered me. And it was just like, you know, let's say it helped to heal the wounds. Wow. Music does, anyway. Yeah, it does. It always does. I like, you know, I love music. I just love music. I, always, I have always been into music. My grandmother was an opera singer. And, you know, there's always been music in our family. So it's um, yeah, it's very important. And but also, I find it sometimes. It, I like when I listen. When I um, when you invited me on the show, and I wanted to go uh, uh, go through some, some of the old tracks, I found it a very very much an emotional journey. Oh my god! It was very, and I ended up in tears when it came to play. I Rachel. don't need to. Oh my god! Oh bloody hell, girl! <laughs> What's that about? I know. I thought you, I thought you said the old sod. You're yeah. getting so emotionally upset. <laughs> I mean, honestly, playing those tracks, which um, I'm going to play them coming up on the show later, yeah. uh, I felt I felt all the feelings, the, Think, the memories yeah. coming back, like, in a second. It was just incredible. Yeah. The thing I mean, that I loved about yeah, Trade is um, you had the same resident DJs who played at the same time every exactly. week and rarely had any special guests. Some of those DJs went on to become superstar DJs. Tell me yeah. about the resident idea and uh, some of the DJs you helped discover, yeah. like Smokin' yeah. Joe, well, Tony uh, DeVee, uh, Fergie, yeah. etc. Yeah, heaps. <laughs> uh, for me, as I, as I said, it was always about the journey in music. So if you, if you are actually employing a DJ, you're, um, a play, you're employing him for his genre, his part of the journey. And the DJs used, would get in touch with each other the beer before trade. They would get, uh, say, on a Wednesday, and they would decide what tracks they intended playing. Because don't forget at that time, because when, I mean, when trade became a really very successful club, it, it put a lot of pressure on the DJs, and the DJs were always asked to um, do remixing. And sometimes you'd have um, a track that would be uh, remixed by uh, two or three of the DJs. So they had to make sure that you weren't playing the same tracks all the time. Yeah. Uh, the DJs, uh, there was loads. I mean, Sister Bliss, uh, Faithful, st uh, Faithless uh, started there. Correct. Smoking Joe, Tony Tibbet. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, Trevor Rockcliffe and Jazz Sounds had actually DJ uh, at other places, but that's where they made their name. Yeah. Um, the they're, they're Tall Paul, um, Fat Tony, Smoking Joe. Yeah. Um, uh, there's, so many, there's so many DJs. But what, what happens on a weekly basis, unfortunately, it was at that time when people would inundate you with uh, cassettes. So if you had it, all, all I was going around with, I'd have to wear a jacket down there. <laughs> So, because I, at that time there was no uh, man bag, so I'd have to have all these bloody tapes in my jacket pocket, weighing me down. And I, of course, I would listen to them during the week. <laughs> and, and then I, I then I decide, you know, yeah, let, let's give this person a try. And that's and that's and sometimes it's like when I was given the cassette of Tony V. I, I like the twist he put on the music. Yeah. And I thought, oh, do, do you know what? This is too perfect. So yeah. I, I I took my own stereo system for my uh, flat. I took it to the the cafe at the club and I put it on and I saw the response of the customer. So, wow, that incredible! Was easy. That was easy. Oh my god! Finally, every week I feature my hair razor, which is the record that makes my hair stand on end. I'm sure there are many, but uh, what's the track that springs to mind whenever uh, you hear it and what it does? Well, emotionally, it, it, emotionally, it's uh, flotation. Oh my it's God! More flotation. Yes. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because um, Tony would play at eight o'clock in the morning, and I'd be outside the DJ block box, and I had my arms in the air, <laughs> and I, I and I actually I always felt that if I actually died at that moment, I 
had such a fantastic experience. Nothing could better that. Yes. I, you know, I, I don't believe in people's expectations because I can't live up to my own expectations. I can't live up to customers' expectations. But when that track came on, it was like, I, 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 I've never been so happy. And, and, and even now, when, I, when it's played, it's, yeah. yeah, as I said, it affects me. I'm going to play it for you coming up oh, after the... Oh, girl, of I course. Oh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get up How can I now. not? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Lawrence, for coming on the show. Okay, thank let's hear so it much. and stand by, trade babies. Uh, my trade mix is coming up next. And the track that oh, I'm going to start with is uh, Vincent de Moore, Flotation. Oh, you, oh, yeah. Thank you so much, baby. And I'll, uh, I'll chat to you later. For sure. Take care, Nicole. Big kiss, my Good love. Luck. Ciao. Good ciao, ciao, ciao. ciao. Bye. Yes.
Oh my god. <laughs> it's in the mood with me, Nicole Mudava. I hope you enjoyed this uh, trade mini mix. I have to thank. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I felt my E was kicking in for some reason, <laughs> bringing me back all the memories. Um, oh my God. Uh, playing out one more. A trade anthem. Jam and Spoon, Age of Love. And... Uh, I just want to thank Lawrence and uh, Roscoe for the amazing memories and for putting this show together. Roscoe trades fierce ruling DJ and all uh, and all of you that uh, logged in, keep those heads high, mis amores. Now more than ever, age of love playing out. Let's bring the love back. Ciao. Wow, wow. Sending you so much love because you're beautiful. Keep smiling.
out the lights and close your eyes. Be bold and when it take you to places you've only ever dreamed of. Be free, free, free. Release your mind. Relinquish control to the mood. Welcome to In the Mood with Nicole Mudabar. 